A father-son team known worldwide for their bubble artistry is attempting to burst a bubble world record. Mm -hmm. They hope to set a new Guinness record for the most people in a soap bubble. Reporter David Nazar is covering the bubble story from the inside out at the Discovery Science Center. David? And Ed and Ann, as you say, we are here at the Discovery Science Center in Santa Ana, all things science, entertainment, education, technology. The event going on the next three weeks here is really unbelievable. No, not unbelievable, unbubbelievable, and we're about to explain why. All these good folks here are getting in a giant size bubble to try and get the Guinness World Record. George, over here, if you will, I want to introduce you to Fan Yang, who is undertaking this unbelievable event. Fan, thank you so much for being here. And what is going on? Well, this is going to be a Guinness World Record for the most number of people inside the bubble. We have 150 people here right on the platform to be inside a giant so bubble. 150 people. So far, the world record is 90 people in a bubble. The Guinness judges are standing by to document all of this. Yeah, that's correct. We have a Guinness World Record judge right there, so we are ready to go. How does one get involved in bubbles? What is the dynamic behind all this? Well, this all comes from my childhood. I was uh, fascinated by the bubbles floating on the surface of the river when I was six years old. And then when I was 18 years, I started to experiment with various liquid solutions just to make the largest possible bubble. So and then I was carrying on with my passion. And today I'm the bubble artist and bubble scientist. And do I understand correctly, you've been working on this for years and it's some sort of secret mixture, 70% water and 30% you don't like to tell. Uh, I have explored the world of bubbles for the past 27 years and of course I come out with a special uh, soapy solution. Uh, it's 70% is water and the rest is 30% uh, is secret ingredients. So of course the secret here is nothing can go wrong, obviously no mistakes. Yeah, here we cannot make a mistakes because we have a one attempt and thus we have to make it right. Thank you, George. Over this way, I want to introduce you to Erin Rhodes. Erin with the Discovery Science Center. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Erin, why is this important? Obviously, it's fun and festivity, but what is the deal with science and bubbles? Well, you know, everything we do at the Science Center tries to combine science with fun. So what kids learn in the classroom, they can come here and experience and have fun with it and learn at the same time. And what exactly are the kids learning when they're here viewing this? Well, you know, there's a lot of science behind bubbles. Anything from the size of the bubble to the shape of the bubble, there's viscosity, surface tension, even when a bubble pops, there's a lot of science behind it. Aaron Rhodes with the Discovery Science Center, thank you so much for being here. Well, I guess let's uh, do this thing now. Fan, are you ready to get your world record? Uh, yes, I'm very excited and we are ready to go. And we have a Guinness World Record judge just to give us a sign. There in the audience, yes. Yes, in the audience as well. Thank you. Okay, so we are ready to go and can you just step a little bit back so we have Yes, here. yes. Thank you. Okay, ready? Follow you there. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, boy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dave, you still on. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, can you... Dave, you still on. I'm sorry, Ed and Ann, we'll send it back to you, sorry. <laughs> he was my intern 20 years ago. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> he didn't do anything like that. <laughs> You're I mean, still standing, right? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the ice sculpture went over and... Uh, anyway. He's a gentle giant, that David. All right. Um, 